Hey, good morning, everybody. Okay, I think we're live. This is Carolyn Hauser Carson. One sec, I'm just setting everything up here. Um, good morning and welcome to the nine days of deep healing and energy shifting. My name is Carolyn Hauser Carson, and my unique brilliance is shifting energy. I teach people how to shift energy, I shift energy for people, I shift energy for the planet, and I've been immersed in learning how to shift my own energy over the past 20 years. I'm also one of the world's best family constellations facilitators. I've been doing it for, like I said, for 20 years, and family constellations really saved my life. I am also the creatrix of the Pleasure IQ. Good morning, Stan. If you're watching, let me know where you're watching from. And um, as we're starting here, if you can think of two people in your community, leaders, um, people that you know do a lot, carry a lot, and um, could use some support, tag them so that they can either join us now or um, find us later. So I'm also the creator of the Pleasure IQ, which is my proprietary system designed to help people live in a paradigm of paradise. I am standing, I am taking a stand and I'm standing firmly in the belief that it's possible to live in paradise now. And paradise or the paradigm of paradise is a state of being where you feel good, where you feel like, yes, this is what I came here for, where you have energy, where you, because of the energy that you have, things flow, you're at ease, you're in peace and you're, you're really able to function and perform your functions at the highest level because nothing is dragging you down. You're, there's no self-doubts and no worries and um, no self-sabotage. Hey, Joya, let me know where you're watching from. And also, if you can think of a couple people in your community, um, leaders and people that hold a lot and carry a lot, tag them so that they can watch this with us now or, or later. So the state of paradise is a place where you, good morning, Laura, let me know where you're watching from, where you are the most powerful and where you are living into the fulfillment of your full potential, where love and ease and prosperity and all those things flow to you. And so today we're going to start with a deep healing for the heart. And I will tell you why in just a second. I'm just going to invite a few people if I can. Let me just see. How did I do this the last time? Let me just see if I can do that. I'm going to just spend a minute. And um, <laughs> I might have to figure out this. Oh, here, invite friends. Great. Yes, invite, 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 invite. And while I'm doing this, maybe you can invite some of your peeps. Um, especially those that carry a lot and are the leaders, are here to um, change the old systems and really create impact for the generations to come. So I've already been setting the space this morning. I've been blessing my space. I am in my palapa. This is a palapa roof. These are the traditional houses that um, are built here on the coast because um, of the, the, the winds that could come. These, these roofs are, can withstand those winds. Um, this house is a work in progress. Right now I am, I am using the living room. We are going to make this bigger and there's all kinds of stuff going to be happening, but I wanted to just show you and model for you that wherever you are, you can, you can create a corner for yourself and bring sacred um, habits, rituals into your life because that's part of how you keep your energy high and stay in a, in a high vibrational space and um, make sure that you're in alignment and resourced. So this morning, today is all about healing your heart. So I'm wearing a rose-colored pendant that Paul bought me, which is very feminine and has to me a very loving energy. I'm also wearing rose, rose quartz earrings, they're from my mother. Um, and then I'm going to show you my altar. This is my little temporary altar here. And on the altar, I, I have a Lakshmi because she's the goddess of flow and abundance and so forth. I also, I don't know if you can see this, let me just see. I have a big rose quartz and then around the rose quartz are two rose quartz hearts 
and three little other little rocks. And the two rose quartz are me and Paul. And the three other ones are the kids. And I have the big rose quartz in the middle that holds us together. So every morning I bless my family. I bless myself and I bless my family. I bless this room. I use my, oops, my sage here to do so. I've also used today um, these two oils. This one is from Alma. Um, Alma.org is her website. It's a rose um, sandalwood oil and it's what um, really helps to support your heart um, and heal your heart. And then rose from doTERRA also. And it smells really good too. Wherever I go, people say, oh my God, you smell so good. Um, and it's because, it's because of this one, the Alma one. Um, I really, really love it. And I've also used... Um, these sprays from my client Deborah Werner. Deborah, if you're watching, thank you because I really love them. This one is Open Doors to Prosperity and Manifesting. So they're misters for the room. So I have prepared this room for this live today. And those are things that you can take on and do for yourself. So now to the issue or to the theme of the day and the issue at hand heart healing. Why is it so important? Well, everything that you want is already here and it's here in a reality in a parallel reality if you want the paradigm of paradise for you exists already the reason why you might feel frustrated or feel a gap is because you're connected to it and you know how your life is supposed to to be you know it's not right to feel stressed out you know it's not right to be exhausted you know um, it's not right for you to be heartbroken and sad and overwhelmed, right? You know these things because you are connected to your paradigm of paradise already. The problem is that we, we as light workers and transformational uh, catalysts, um, we also carry a ton of of wounding collectively and then also our own that we came in with from past lives and some that we've gotten in this lifetime also. And energetically speaking, you know, you are a, a super powerful, we all are a super powerful creator and we create through our energy, right? We are energy. Energy is the truth of everything. And we are either a match vibrationally to certain energy frequencies or we're not. So if things don't come and if you have to work really hard to make things happen, it's because you do you don't use these energetic and spiritual laws. You rely on your, on your own, on yourself, on your physical human self, instead of the much grander and greater version that you are, which is, um, I think Einstein said that a human being, if you would just measure the energy is, I don't know how many times the energy of a um, nuclear bomb, right? But if it was to see in one time, you know, you get the picture how powerful, powerful we can really truly be. But if we forget and don't rely on that power and don't make use of that power, then life is a, is a struggle and hard and you damage your body and you burn yourself out in the process. And so the heart is at the center of everything. The heart is our most powerful organ, right? Because it's connected to love. Love is the most high vibrational, one of the most love and joy and peace are the most high vibrational frequencies there are. And where do we experience them? We experience them through our heart. And so when our heart isn't healed, you know, physical, energetic, um, emotional parts of our heart, when they're not healed, energetically, you're locked down, right? So you're not as magnetic or you're not as efficient, you're not as powerful, just in, in terms of voltage, as you could be, right? And the reason why we close down our heart is because we, we want to protect ourselves. And why would we protect ourselves, right? We only feel like we need to protect ourselves if we are afraid and if we're in fear. And fear, in terms of vibrational frequency, is a much lower vibrational frequency than love. And so today, with, these, with, with the heart healing, we're going to start there because your heart is such a vital organ in terms of um, opening up the flow in all areas and dropping the need for protection. And this has been a, a huge, huge learning for me because 
Um, I come from a spiritual lineage of warriors, of, of sun warriors, light warriors. And um, for most of my life, and, and I wasn't going to share this today, but I'm going there. I didn't realize how I literally walked through life with a shield on this arm, like literally, and a sword in this arm. And it's taken me being married for two years. Now I'm going to cry. <laughs> And having these run-ins with Paul and not understanding why. And then finally, you know, finally, you know, we kept looking and investing and looking for the help and finally having a session where I got into a space where I realized I literally had this physical shield and armor. And even though I would put it down sometimes, it never came out of my hands, never, ever came out of my hands. And so then, right, it's very hard for masculine energy, whether it's your partner or money or any, any kind of support and protective um, force that wants to support you to come into your life. And it frustrates the heck out of it. I mean, that's why we got into fights because it would, Paul, all he wants to do is protect me and be there for me. And I just go like this and, and, and protect myself and hide in the closet and whatnot, you know, energetically, but we're super sensible people sensitive people and chances are you know you're watching you are too and so then he would get feel like disconnected and, and not understand why why i would disconnect from him and then his pain would get triggered and then then you know it was a mess and i'm sharing this with you because what we all want is the feeling of uh, i'm protected i am guided i'm resourced I can ask for what I want. It's safe to ask for what I want. It's safe to have it easy. It's safe to let go of control. It's safe to be in the flow, right? Because our subconscious wants to scream at us and say, no, it's not. And that's a big fat lie. And that's how the negative forces and devil and the, 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 the counter, the counter, the resistance and the, um yeah just the resistance will keep you in a place where you're not mega powerful and so we're going to change that over the next nine days that's my intention that's the intention that i set on this on the square behind me on my rug where i'm going to be doing the work and that's um the intention i'm holding for myself and for you and um for everybody else that wants to join us um so with that, let's just say a quick prayer and officially really set the, set the intention. Intentions are very powerful things to work with. Um, and then I, some of you might already know this. <clears throat> I use these colored fields and I will be stepping in for everybody collectively. And also you can step into your own um, constellation. You can use magazines, you can use pieces of paper, you could use washcloth, you could use kitchen towels, anything. I'll give you a moment. Um, I'm going to say the, I'm going to say the prayer, I'm going to set the intention, and then we are going to, I'll give you some time to gather your pieces so that you can step on something, and then we will do the actual healing, deep healing and energy shifting work. So, just as a last thing, Constellation saved my life. It is really a, mo a modality that heals lives, has healed my life. I, I was addicted and couldn't beat the addiction. My, my prognosis for healing and survival were at 5%. I had tried everything. I had one Constellation session, and within three months, um, I was able to drop my addictive behavior and pretty much within six months was completely healed without me doing anything extra it just left and so it's it's miracle work and it works because it works with energy it doesn't it doesn't try to figure it out on the human realm it goes straight to the soul and the energy and with that to truth and once we are in truth things get very clear and easy to resolve and so with that i'm inviting you to close your eyes taking a deep breath in Letting your belly soften and exhaling. Letting go of anything and everything that came before our time together this morning, yesterday, 
the day before, the weeks before, the months before, the years before, your entire past, just letting it all go. And then inhaling again, letting your belly soften and exhaling, letting go of anything and everything that still has to happen after our time together, later today, tomorrow, the rest of this week, rest of the month, rest of the year. Your entire future, just letting it all go. And then inhaling one last time, letting your belly soften and exhaling, arriving in this present moment. And in this present moment, I'm speaking a prayer and I'm setting the intention for deep transformation and healing, especially for the healing of the heart, physical, emotional, energetic, spiritual, lifetimes, collective, in nature, in our own and in people around us. May what we do today not only affect our today, but the tomorrow of many to come. May we will not take this time lightly, but may we take it joyously. And with this, I declare all of us, everybody, anyone watching right now live and later, anyone go taking themselves through this, whether it's live or through the record recording, recorded version, I declare all of us capable of stepping into the version of ourselves that has an open heart, that has a healed heart, that feels safe to open to flow. That version of all of us already exists and with this prayer and intention, I declare all of our ability to close the gap between where we are now and embodying that version of ourselves. So that we all may experience living in a paradigm of paradise now and be the powerful creators and creatrixes that we came here to be. And so with this prayer and intention, I'm saying thank you. Thank you for everything that provided, having everything provided that we need to do the work together today. And I just let this intention and prayer be, knowing it is carried out in joy and peace by simply saying, and so it is, amen. And so with that, I'm inviting you to just grab a couple pieces, either um, cloth pieces, pillowcases, washcloths, kitchen towels. If you have colored pieces of paper, you can. If you just have white pieces of paper, that's fine too. That's what, what you get when you wear non-water resistant um, mineral mascara. It always runs. <laughs> well, that shows you that we're doing things live and real here. And um, that's not, that is not fake. So I'm going to choose my pieces for today. I wish I had a red glitter. I don't have a red glitter. Dang it. I have a golden glitter. I'm going to take the golden glitter. I have to buy myself a red glitter. And um, I'll just take the red. And so what we're going to be setting up, <clears throat> and by setting up meaning you're going to just have your two pieces, either the two magazines or two pillowcases, or what you're using, and you're going to place them on the floor in the space where you are. And if you are somewhere where you can't do that, then you might just close your eyes and I'm going to do this collectively. And then later you can go back. I'm going to post the recordings in the event and on my business page and on my personal profile so you can find the replays. Um, also, then take yourself through. If you don't have space right now to step on things and you don't have privacy, 
you can do it later. So I'm going to set this up for myself right now. <clears throat> and you just place them on the floor the way it feels right to you. I'm choosing the golden for the version of all of us, myself. I am you, you are me. So I use myself as a surrogate, basically. The, I'm using my golden for the version of myself and all of us that has an open and healed heart. And then I'm using the red for my, oh, and my kids have drawn on this, um, for my current, for all of our current version with the heartbreaks and obstructions in our heart that we're currently experiencing still and working through. <clears throat> and so you just choose one for the version that's whole and one for the version right now that needs the healing. And we start by stepping onto the version that needs the healing. And so I'm collectively, I'm stepping on the collective field. And so as you step on, you can just close your eyes, taking a deep breath in. And so probably something different than what's happening for me will be happening for you, and that's okay. Just go through your own process. For me, what wants to happen is for me to go on my knees. <clears throat> Let's see if you can still see me. Yes. And so the way that I transmute energy is through my body and through what I'm feeling. And you can do the same for yourself and just be with what, whatever energy you feel is flowing through you and be present to what's flowing through you. And you can move around and um, like I, you know, I went down on the floor. That's what this collective soul movement needed. And so I can feel a lot of um, grief in my heart. And I'm allowing myself to be fully present to it. At this point, I'm not even aware that there's another piece. And so like I said, you can just receive this as a collective feeling or you can go through your own constellation by stepping on your field, allowing yourself to feel what's coming through might be different, completely different from this here. I feel actually very numb and isolated. My eyes are closed. I have a lot of tension in my neck. And actually what's happening, the beautiful thing that's happening is I can feel this gold and come closer. <clears throat> so meaning through the work that we're doing right now, our field is getting to a place where <clears throat> the part of us that already is living with an open heart can actually come close. So it wasn't so much about us finding this part and going towards that part. It was more for us to get into the space I am right now collectively. Feel somewhat of a surrendered, you know, I feel somewhat surrendered to the fact that there is heartbreak. You know, at this, in this place, I'm not pretending anymore. I'm not hiding anymore. I'm not pushing it away. At this place, I am just heartbroken and I'm with my heartbreak. And so something must have softened in the collective field 
so that these two versions could come closer and end. This other version has a lot of love and it's not afraid to use it. So what I'm taking from this is that there was something in the way we were holding ourselves that didn't allow this version of ourselves that already knows how to heal to come close. So it also seems to me like this version, our current version really doesn't have to do much. This other version, the golden version, is doing a ton. So we just needed to shift, make the shift basically from standing to kneeling. And that's what allowed this the golden energy, the healed energy, to come and tend to us. And on the red, I can feel it now. I am making a connection to the gold. I'm no longer, I mean, I still feel dark and isolated. My eyes are closed. But I also feel the warmth on my back. I feel the warmth of the golden on my back. And so if you're doing your own constellation and it's very different, you might want to just step on the golden and see what it feels like for right now. Just follow your intuition and see which, which piece is, is, is guiding you towards each other or towards it. Right, the beautiful thing with energy is that everything can happen simultaneously because everything is energy and everything exists all at the same time. Really out of time. I want to support my head now because I take the strain off my neck. And I really want to start opening my eyes, but my eyes feel so teary. I want to look at the golden, but I'm a little afraid of the beauty. I'm a little afraid to see myself in the full glory. And I can feel the golden just calming me and comforting me and saying, it's okay. It's okay. You can do it in your own time. I'm here. So the golden energy is very soothing to my nervous system also. There's no pressure. It's just a lot of love for me. And so right now it feels like I'm just allowing the gold to create a cocoon around me. It's almost like I'm cocooning now. I'm in a cocooning stage and I'm letting the gold, golden energy build a cocoon around me. And with that cocoon, it allows me to, to soften and relax more and more. And it feels like I'm in, a, in the womb now, I'm in the womb of the golden, and I feel safe enough to open my eyes now. And it's almost like the golden has swallowed me up, and I'm inside of it. Which for this red part, for the part that's hurt and wounded and heavy and heartbroken, um, which I'm still on. I feel very relieved because it feels like I don't need to know how to, I don't need to know how to heal. I just needed to become part of this bigger part that already knows and is healed. 
and it's okay for me to be apart, but I don't need to be the one interacting with the world. So this is so fascinating. This is why I love doing the constellations because you never know. I mean, who could have known this? So as this part, as this wounded part, I really don't need to do anything. I need, don't need to know anything. I'm just fine being huddled inside of the golden, that part of, of ourselves that is healed and whole and feels safe. And for me, for this part, um, there's nothing to do anymore. Um, so I'm going to step out of the uh, my red. And again, if you have um, put your own pieces and you've been stepping, just keep, keep stepping and following the energy flow that's happening for you. This is what's happening collectively. And the mind will have a hard time understanding all of this because it's energy and I'm doing the best to describe what's happening energetically in human terms and language. Um, the most important thing is just to trust that deep healing and profound shifts are happening because of this, what we're doing. We're doing real work here right now. So that's why I said earlier, you know, we'll take this seriously or take this not lightly, but joyfully. So I'm just stepping onto the golden, which the golden is basically, I, I feel like I'm a whole globe right now and have the red inside of me. And so it's okay to have these parts that have been wounded and heartbroken. They're part of me. They will always be part of me. And they have a place. They have a place in my, it's almost like they have a place in my belly, in my core. They have a place in my core. And that's where they belong. They don't belong on the outside. They don't belong into interactions with people. These parts of this part does not belong into making decisions about my love life. These parts don't belong into making decisions about my business or interacting with my business. These parts belong into my insights. And th their place, their right place, a lot of the constellation work is about things not being in the right place and getting the right place. The right place for these parts is inside of me. where I can love them and where they can feel safe. It's okay for them not to feel safe. They can be inside of me and feel safe. So from now on, I am the one who is interacting with my loved ones, who is interacting with my clients, who is interacting with the world, who is interacting with opportunities, who's attracting opportunities, who's saying yes and no to opportunities, who's making decisions in my business, in my life, who's setting boundaries. And I have the capacity to do all of that and to tend to these parts of myself. That have been hurt in the past. And so with that, this, this piece and this work is complete for today. So I want you to just take a moment and close your eyes. And just let it all sink in. And then I want to invite you if this work speaks to you and if you know that you have a big mission and you're stuck in a place where you're running your business and it's draining you and it's making money, but it's not creating the impact and it's not connected to, or right now it doesn't feel like it's connected to your soul mission, that you and I have a conversation. And to do so, you can just book a time on my calendar. The link is in, in the description. 
This is also for you if you're a man. If you're a man and you're experiencing, having those experiences, please do reach out and have a conversation with me. I am running a Pleasure IQ Mastermind. So everything that we did today is helping you to increase your Pleasure IQ. A high Pleasure IQ means your ability to allow pleasure in all areas of your life. And when you can do that, it also means that you're living at a very high vibrational level. And so I have a nine months Mastermind where I help my clients to release and heal and basically really step into the paradigm of paradise and then stay there. And... Um, I'm taking applications for that now. If this is resonating with you, let's talk today or tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to the next to the next step on, step on our journey, which is the soul connection. We will work on your soul connection. Very curious to see what comes out of that. The beauty about this work is that whatever needs to be seen and shifted will be revealed. Right? I never have a plan other than holding the intention for the most high to happen. And then I go with it. And the shifts are amazing. You know, people have shifted completely out of struggle. I've had clients in the past that have worked 60, 80 hours a week and run their relationships and themselves into the ground and barely could keep their head over water that are now living on the beach and making millions by, um, you know, making a couple of deals here and there, for example. So there's very different ways of doing things. And it doesn't mean that you have abandoned, have to abandon everything that you've worked for and built because usually there is a way how you can, with the, just a few tweaks, bring your soul and everything that you want to do into alignment and take full advantage of everything that you've already get going. Right? A lot of people, I think, don't want to make the shift because they think you have to leave everything behind. That is not true. Right? There's ways that you can just streamline and make it really easy and like a puzzle, see where the pieces fit and make it so it's really good, right? So it feels really good where you don't have to sacrifice one thing or let go of a thing that you're not ready for. And also where you can just let go of things that you've been holding on to because you thought you had to, that are not necessary. So with that, thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Um, keep tagging your friends, keep sharing this, especially with those that are leaders in your community that do need the support so that they can shine even more brighter. And um, tomorrow, I'll be back same time, same virtual space, 10 a.m. Central Time. I still have to get used to the time zone, but that's where I am right now um, on the Mayan Riviera. It's healing the soul connection. I'd love if you give me some feedback, if you let me know how this, um, how this went. And with that, all my love to you. Have a blessed day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.